there are few problems with recurrent neural network which is solved by this model named LSTM which stands for long short term memory. Now in this video we will discuss what is LSTM, why do we need it and what is the problem with the recurrent neural network. Now this is the model which is a bit hard to understand and especially when you are looking at it or understanding it for the first time it does not quite make sense what is going on and same thing happened to me when I learned this concept for the first time I did not understand much so after going through a lot of resources I have wrapped everything into this single video which will not only give you the mathematical details behind LSTM but also the intuition behind it which is very important to understand what is going on. And I just forgot to tell you that at the end of this video, you will find a link to the quiz down in the description box. The quiz is very important to uh, retain your understanding and improve your understanding. So make sure you attempt the quiz. And I hope that after watching this video, you do not need to go anywhere else to understand LSTM. And after watching this video, if you understand LSTM properly, then do hit the like button, show your support because it takes a lot of time and energy to make such kind of videos. And you also know, why should I repeat it again? Hit the red subscribe button, also hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Hit the red subscribe button. And okay, okay, I know what you are saying. Stop talking, Jay. Start the video. So let's get started. Let's say if we are making a grammar checker which checks if the given sentence is grammatically correct or not. So this is a website called Quillbot which provides grammar checker. And in this sentence, if we read this sentence, it says Mr. Watson goes on a business trip every Wednesday and one day during a summer break her wife was very angry. Now clearly this should be his not her and that's what the Quillbot is suggesting us. Now this means that if we use a recurrent neural network for creating a grammar checker then this recurrent neural network should suggest us that here we should have his and not her because here the subject is Mr. Watson which is a male. But practically recurrent neural network are not able to do so. Let's see why. Let's say this is our recurrent neural network and we pass this sentence to it to check if it is grammatically correct or not. Now the individual words will go as an input to this recurrent neural network. But when we pass this long sentence to the recurrent neural network, it actually will fail to identify this as an error. Let's see why. What happens in a recurrent neural network is that these A, A's or which are activations or hidden state is passed from the previous timestamp to the next timestamp till the end of the sentences. And during each timestamp, the value of the A are updated. So by the time it reaches to this timestamp, the value of the A has been updated so many times that it has almost lost the information that was present when it saw the word Mr. Watson first. That is why the problem with the recurrent neural network is that whenever we pass a long sentence, it loses the information that was present very earlier in the sentence. It remembers the information from the last few of the words but it fails to remember the words or the information that appeared long before. Now another way to prove this is by using the backpropagation. If you have watched my previous video on backpropagation then you would know that we derived this del L by del W with the help of this equation where which is the summation from i equal to 1 till all the time stem. And here we have derivative of O which is the output with respect to the activation A. And this activation A will be for all the timestamp 1 to T. So when we expand this, we get this as an equation. Now this part represents the derivative of output O at the timestamp T with respect to the activation or the hidden state at the timestamp 1. Which means that when we are backpropagating from the timestamp t till the timestamp 1, we have to multiply lot of gradients to reach to the timestamp 1. The value of the gradients are between 0 to 1, which means that the gradient value is a small number. And whenever we multiply a lot of small numbers, the net result becomes almost close to 0. So the net result of this term will be almost equal to 0. Which means that while updating the weights, which is actual training of our model, the words that appear at the earlier stage has almost no say. And this problem is known as vanishing gradient problem. 
The word vanishing gradient means that the gradient value becomes so less that it becomes almost equal to zero. And that is why we need another model that has a long term memory along with the short term memory. In the RNN, the value of the A's are updated at every time stem. So they quickly lose the information that was provided back then. And that is why they have short term memory. But in LSTM, we have a long term memory as well as a short term memory. And that is why the name is long short term memory. Here in LSTM, we have two states instead of just one state as we had in RNN. The first state C here is called as a memory cell state. And the second state here is called as hidden state. This memory cell state will be responsible for retaining knowledge into its memory so that we can use it later on if we need it. And this hidden state acts as the hidden state that we had in the recurrent neural network. The long term memory will be able to retain the context or the knowledge that was provided a long back. And the main reason why the LSTM is able to do that is because it used a concept of gates. Now there are three kinds of gates in LSTM. One is forget gate, another is input gate and third is output gate. Now the concept of gate is that a gate allows certain information to pass through and it restricts the other information. This means that a forget gate will be responsible for allowing our model to forget some information or retain some information. So if it does not allow some context or some knowledge to forget, then that knowledge will be retained throughout many timestamps. We will understand these in detail in just a while. And the input gate will be responsible for adding new information. So whenever our model sees new information provided by input X, the input gate will allow some information to be added to our network while it won't allow some information to be added. So it will only allow useful information to add to our model. And the output gate will be responsible for letting us know what to produce as an output. Let's look at them in detail. So let's look at every component one by one. We will first start with looking at our memory cell state CT. In the equation of CT, it has two components. One have forget gate and other have input gate. Let's see first what is the role of forget gate here. Now if you see here, the forget gate is multiplied with the C from the previous timestamp. And this is an element wise multiplication. Which means that the shape of FT will be same as the shape of C T minus 1. And the values inside the matrix FT will be 0 or 1. So the values of the forget gate matrix will be multiplied with the values with the C T minus 1. And as it is the element wise multiplication, which means that this value will be multiplied with this, this will be multiplied with this and so on. And that is why, let's say when we have 1 here in the forget gate, it will retain that information or it will retain that value. And whenever we have 0 in the forget gate, then it will eliminate that information or that value. And that is why it acts as a gate. 1 means allowed to pass through while 0 means discard that information. And that is why it is called forget gate because it can forget some information. And now let's see why do we want to forget some information. Let's say we have this long sentence here. Whenever a model sees Mr. Watson, it will retain that information or this context into the cell state C1. Now C will be a matrix, right? So some of its value will retain the information that we have Mr. Watson here. And now the forget gate will not allow the information here to change. That is why the information will retain throughout. In the simple recurrent neural network, these values would have updated quickly as our model sees the next word. But it does not happen in LSTM. And that is why, let's say when it reaches at this word her, it recognizes that here it should be his wife and not her wife. 
because the C has still stored Mr. Watson in its memory. And let's say we encounter some other word Miss Mary. Then now the forget gate will forget the information of Mr. Watson but it will add the information of Miss Mary. And that is why we have this input gate IT here. And as it has forgotten that we had Mr. Watson and it has remade and as it has retained that we have Miss Mary now, then our model can decide that here we should have herself and not himself because Miss Mary is a female. Now we will understand the second term of our CT which is this part. This has an input gate IT and this C tilde T is known as candidate value. The equation for the candidate value is given by this. Now the equation of the candidate value is almost the same as the equation of A that we had in recurrent neural network, in the simple recurrent neural network. Now if you remember, the equation of the A in simple recurrent neural network was given by this, which can also be represented as this. Here, what I have done is that I have combined the weight matrix into WA and I have concatenated the AT-1 and XT. This means that the weight matrix WA here is a combination of WAA and WAX and AT-1 is concatenated vertically with XT and thus when we multiply this we will get WAA AT-1 and this equation back. So what I wanted to say is that these two equations are the same and here this represents that AT-1 is concatenated with XT and now we have the WA matrix which has both WAA and WAX. This means that the as the equation of AT is similar to the, our candidate value here, this candidate value will be responsible for adding new information and as its name suggests that it's a candidate value which means that potential new information that we can add and that potential new information will be filtered by this input gate. This means that the input gate IT will also have the 0 and 1 as its values and thus it will filter out what new information it wants to add. Let us understand this with the help of an example. The statement says that Mr. Watson goes on a business trip every Wednesday and one day during a summer break her wife was very angry and tomorrow he was need to go on a trip again. Now clearly this should be his and this should be will because here we have tomorrow. The proper statement would have been and tomorrow he will need to go on a trip again. So whenever our model reaches this word tomorrow, it also needs to add that information along with whatever information it had before. So this is an example where we do not need to forget anything but we are just adding new information while retaining the useful information that we had before. Thus this model has the capacity to retain the old information for a long time along with adding new information. Now we discussed that the gate stores 0 and 1 as its value but let's see the equation of these input gate and the forget gate as well. The equation of the forget gate and the input gate is given by this. You will notice that this component is almost same in all of these. The only difference is of the weights. Here we have WC, here we have WF, here we have WI and similarly for the biases as well. And here we are applying sigmoid activation function. Now as it is a sigmoid activation function, the values of the FT will be between 0 and 1 only. So most of its value will be either close to 0 or either close to 1. So if the value is close to 0, it means that we want to forget that information and if the value is close to 1, that means that we want to retain that information and that is why they are able to act as gates. Now you might ask me that, hey Jay, how does these gates get to know which information to forget and which information to add? And the answer lies in the weight matrices here. Notice that we will train this model and after training the values of these weights will be updated in such a way 
that it will build a certain level of understanding which means that after training our model will develop an understanding of which information is useful and which information is irrelevant and this understanding is built after looking at thousands and thousands of data or sentences now these equations diagrammatically look something like this here we will provide the input word which will be provided at every time step here we have hidden state and here we have cell state now this box here states that it is a neural network a neural network means that the hidden state and the input x will be multiplied with the weights and it will be passed on to some activation function and and then we will have this forget gate which will be multiplied with ct minus 1 so we have forget gate multiplied by ct minus 1 and an input gate multiplied by candidate value which is obtained from here now we have looked at two gates now it's time to look at our third gate which is the output gate the value of the hidden state ht will be computed by multiplying the output gate and by passing the 10h over ct and this hidden state will be provided as an output to make the prediction the equation of the output gate is similar to the equation of the forget and the input gate the only difference is that we have the weight w0 and the bias b0 now this output gate will filter out what information to be predicted or given as the output while what information to be not given in the output now i know we discussed a lot of things here so a quick revision will be very very useful here so let us revise everything that we have learned so far uh, lstm will have two states one is the cell state and the other is the hidden state the cell state will act as a long term memory which will be able to retain some information through long time and with the help of the hidden state and the input we will also keep on adding new information as we encounter the cell state ct has two components one is this and the other is this the first component has forget gate and it is multiplied with the cell state of the previous time step this means that the forget gate will help us to decide what information to forget from the previous time step and what information to retain if the forget gate has not allowed to forget some information that means that we have still retained that information through a very very long time now this second component has input gate and the candidate value the candidate value tells us what new information can be potentially added and then this input gate will then decide if it wants to add that value or not the equations for the gates are given by this and as we have sigmoid here the values of these gates will be mostly either close to 0 or either close to 1 and finally the hidden state will be updated with the help of this equation where the output gate is multiplied with the 10h of ct this was regarding the one cell of lstm and this is how lstm look like throughout the time let's say this is our time stamp t equal to t1 this is t equal to 2 and this is t equal to t let's say then these cell state and the hidden state values will be passed on to the further time stamp and this output prediction is made using this hidden state h t notice this is a neural network which means that the equation of ot will be given by applying softmax over wy multiplied by ht plus by so this was everything regarding lstm i know it was a long video but i hope you learned something from it make sure you give the quiz which is down in the description box it will help you develop more understanding of this concept and remember what you have learned and if you found this video valuable then please do hit the like button it took me a lot of time to make this video share your support so that i keep on making such videos and up till then i will see you in the next video